All right, the only thing left should be this water. Specifically, this little tiny boat in the water. the boat I'll have to uh, come back for the frog corpse but I think that this is the last the last thing in this in this map we to go how beautiful Nine percent. Is it is this corpse the last of the of the percent? Do the do the bodies count? Because in the other games, the enemies would eventually uh, respawn on the surface, but I haven't encountered that yet. I'm still at 99%. Is it because I didn't get gold on everything? Sightless Passage is 100%. Giraffe Gallery is 100%. Rockaway Cellars is 100%. Secluded Courtyard, 100%. Kingdom of Beasts, 100%. Hotshot Canyon says it's 100%. Battle in a Box says it's 100%. So what am I missing? Is there a corpse? There is a corpse over there. And then there's also a corpse to my left. Is that is that really it is collecting all the corpses is killing the butterflies and these leaf things actually required for 100 percent that feels weird no wait my treasure radar is actually still going off Okay, wait, no, my treasure radar is still going off. So let's let's follow that, see if that'll lead me to something. Uh, okay, over here, nada. So 
Still nothing. It's getting bigger over here, okay. Is there something buried? Is there something up here? There is something buried up there. What the heck? Better speed it up. Interesting. Okay. Well, that radar is invaluable for finding these kinds of treasures. That's everything. Is that 100%? It is 100%. Cool. Explode 100% of the area. That's pretty cool. Alright. I've got all of my stray Pikmin. Day can come to an end. So the question just remains whether, now that I've spent a day exploring, can I go and do something at night on the same day? Or... Does it have to be a day expedition or a night expedition? Not that it really matters, because as far as I'm aware, there are no day time limits. But for some reason, I get the feeling they might throw something. It's like, oh, yeah, no, now we only have 10 days left. Go, go get Olimar. Our m menagerie is growing. I guess not. So I have to choose four rescues. Cool. We got a lot, quite a few things to read. Spring crop series. Nice. Some extra sparkling. Thank you. We got the citrus lump, decorative goo, universal rubber cutie, talisman of life, cherry blossom, time marker, disguised delicacy, blonde imposter, Astringent Clump, Expression Hider, Unfloatable Boat, Mooching Vase, and some more nuggets. Nice. Whole area is cleared. Never have to go back to the Blossoming Arcadia except for Night Expeditions. Well, that's interesting. So you press X and it orders the victim to charge. The charging horn seems like a very useful piece of gear. Ah, yes, the power of science is nothing to scoff at. It makes all things possible. See, if you change the frequency like this, and now you can make anyone charge. Hi. Let me show you. W what's happening? My body, it's like it's moving all by itself. Stop, stop that right now. What do you think you're doing, Russ? Eh, I was just showing you how to use it in case of an emergency. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never ever occurs. It's kind of funny. So we have to go get the blue onion. And that's going to be just the whole day is going and retrieving the blue onion. And I have four unconscious individuals. 
So since it takes up the same day, I'll probably spend a good amount of time just waking these four up. Oh, more area to explore? Once again, the rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped, so we've expanded into a new area. Colin and all the castaways joined forces and worked hard to make this happen. Thank you. Here's some raw material that we dug up while clearing the new space. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Oh. All right, let's train. We're going with Mega Rush because I like the sound of Mega Rush. Oh, good boy. I look so miserable on him. <laughs> All right, who wants me to talk to them? You, because I've explored enough caves for you. You seem to be traveling through the, those caves at a good clip. Drop your latest report on me. I want to help you discover the spirit of caves. You should continue your endeavor to explore even more of them. Okay. Don't worry, I was already going to do that without you telling me. But I appreciate your, uh, you being my cheerleader. What's up, Ranger? Oh, you think you've got this under control, is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. Oh, it's because I investigated the areas, that's why. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. Oh, I'm on, I'm on my way to go do that. Don't you worry. Anybody else want me to talk with them? Hi, I'm Mika. You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. I came to this planet to supervise a student field trip, but it's not going so well. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm sure you're busy, but do you think you could search for the students that came here with me? The Alliance Academy's Planetary Science Club has only three students, Shiba, Kish, and Kaya. If they aren't found, I don't know how I could ever face their parents. Please, if there's any way you could help. Sure thing. Going to do that as well. I've yet to find a mission that I was not already planning on doing. Hi, I'm Sai. I like to consider myself an expert in habitat ecology. When I heard an unknown planet had been found, my first thought was unknown planet means unknown creatures. Who could resist an opportunity like that? Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the research task force as soon as I could. This probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. I'm currently researching the connection between the Pikmin and the whistles they respond to. I have loads of yeah. questions. Like how many Pikmin can you lead at a time? And will the whistle still work on all your Pikmin if your squad increases? And that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what I want to know. How about we just start out with you telling me when your squad gets bigger and we'll go from there. Huh? What? No way, you already lead that many Pikmin? How? Nice, nice, times two. I'm simply astonished at your abilities. Try taking on even more. Okay. I was already planning on doing that too. They just like wanted to reward you for doing all of the things that I was, that you're already going to be doing. It's kind of funny. Okay. I guess we're going to get the blue onion and then we're going uh, for some night expeditions. We're going to the Sun Speckled Terrace to finish her up. We'll grab the blue onion and then see if there's anything else. Uh, any buried treasures maybe in the area. Because I'm missing 98%. Or I have 98%. I'm missing 2%. I see Bob has decided that he no longer wants my desk and he wants to lay on Abby. I was just saying that Bob's left my desk and now he's settled on you. He looks pretty cozy. Alright, we need all the blue Pikmin I can get my hands on. Oh, 
Ochi's twitching his nose? Cause that mean there's treasure nearby? There could be a treasure here. All right, but what I'm gonna do is first get the onion and then spend some time kind of farming up my blue Pikmin. Maybe I should invest in the upgrade for Ochi that makes him, uh, makes him able to swim faster. Twenty? Okay, he want, they want twenty. Wait, how do I get twenty? Oh, no. Okay, wait. I can, I think I can... I think I can do this, actually. Because I didn't actually need blue Pikmin to get the blue onion. I just needed enough capacity. So for a brief second, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do this. But no, I just need to have enough capacity that I can have enough Pikmin that'll carry things along with all of the other Pikmin. It'll all make sense. I'm, I'm rambling, but just give me a second. Okay. First, I need 30 Ice Pikmin, and then I will take the rest out in Red Pikmin. Alright. The 30 Ice Pikmin are going to go in the water. Alright. Water is frozen. Now I can go up here with everybody that I currently have. 30 Pikmin, which is enough to take the onion. There we go. Very exciting. Nice. The more onions we fuse together, the more types of Pikmin it can propagate. That's good news for us. And now we're gonna take some time to to farm nor blue Pikmin. I'll put away all other Pikmin types so that this becomes easier for me. Why are these guys just chilling out up here? There's nothing there's nothing for you. You got it all. Why can't I put more red Pikmin in there? Oh, because they're over there. I was very confused for a second. Alright, put you guys away. Only have blues now.
And we have to go find this treasure that appears to be buried somewhere. So let's go and explore. Let's check this way. First, we're going to get this. Nothing on the radar yet. Oh, it's, it is getting bigger. Do I need to go across that bridge, maybe? I guess I'll go pick these as well. Gotta grow my army. But I imagine blue Pikmin are going to be very important for my uh, my success here, so it's it's good to stock up on them. Now then, it looked like things were growing on the radar when I was over here. And it's getting bigger over here, so... Not there. Not there. Right there. Go, Ochi, go. Ochi, you can come with me. I don't want you carrying that. I hope that's the only one. Okay, cool. That's everything. Let me move my base over here for a second so that I can grab all these flowers. And I can also go to the very beginning starting area because there were a bunch of flowers over there as well. I wonder if I move the base, if that'll make any planted Pikmin also transplant with the base. Doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. That is good information to know. So, if you have planted Pikmin, like if you have, uh, 
idle Pikmin that are within the confines of the base, then they'll transport when you move to the base. But if you have planted Pikmin from, you know, bringing pellets and such back, they won't move. I could probably go get that, that 10 blue over there as well. Should be all I need for that. Oh, I can do a charge in the water. Interesting. Okay. Alright, there should be more flowers over here that I can collect. boost my population a bit more. Okay, is that, is that everything that I can really grab? Aside from more spicy spray that I totally take full advantage of. I think I finally have maxed out my Pikmin population in the field for blues, so... No more are gonna be coming out that I need to... That I need to pluck. Okay. Area is fully explored. I grabbed a crap load of pellets. So I have over 60 blue Pikmin. And I'll try and continue to grow that over time. Hello, Bob. Let's not show your butt to the whole internet, shall we? Nobody wants to see that. This isn't your only fans. My special boy. He keeps walking under my microphone with his tail sticking straight up, so he keeps dragging the mic with him as he's walking along. He's gonna do it again. There, there it goes. You are a funny cat. A child of the earth. Are you a child of the earth? Ochi is a rare breed of dog. Do you happen to know where he was born? His ancestors have lived alongside the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what planet they're from originally, but these dogs certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talents for life as a rescue pup. Obviously, I'm talking about their carrying abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have noses made for scent tracking. Combine that with their excellent vision and soft, fluffy coats, and you've got the perfect partner. Plus, they're so cute. So then the short answer is no. Yes, Bob. 
You're so desperate for love and affection.